to tell us more about how we'll be saving energy in the future, we're joined by an architect and an expert on regenerative technologies in houses, Klaus Stefan. Hello. Now, the hotel we just reported about can actually cut down greenhouse gas emissions by 400 tons every year. That means we can do a lot for climate protection on a smaller scale. Yes, indeed, we have to. Yeah. We have a potential of factor 10, I would say, to reduce CO2 emissions uh, by buildings. Uh -huh. And uh, buildings have 40% of the worldwide CO2 emissions. And so when we cut them by factor 10, and uh, this is the most efficient way to get on it. So climate protection will not get around changing the way of uh, we live in houses nowadays. No, the comfort will not be cut. Okay. We will have the same good, may, maybe a better comfort with less energy. Maybe one way is what we just seen in the report, the geothermal energy system. It seems quite simple, actually. They drill down yes, yes. 30 meters. Is it always so simple or what are your experiences? Well, our Earth, planet Earth, is a very hot planet inside. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, uh, potential. And the technology is quite simple. You take uh, water in the ground and you get uh, hot or warm water um, outside. But the geological situations can be very different and uh -huh. complicated. What, what kind of projects have you realized with geothermal energy? Yes, for example, we recently realized a kindergarten. Mm -hmm. And um, this uh, use is using uh, geothermal energy just one meter below the ground. Uh -huh. And that's not expensive at but all. That, that means you need a house which uses just very little energy on a that's passive it. house that's standard. Yes. You're an expert on that field. Yes. What's, what's your trick? Uh, it's the thick pullover. It's a good thermal insulation of the building that we uh, allows us not to lose a lot of heat to the outside. So we have triple glazing, uh, which has the same effect. And we have a heat recuperation by the ventilation system. Mm -hmm. And so in the end, by you just need extra. very little extra energy, maybe from a geothermal energy system. That's it, yes. We're actually using the power of the sun already with sun collectors to produce uh, the hot water supply. Mm -hmm. Is there a chance maybe in the long run to also use the power of the sun for heating? Yes, we use in summer thermal collectors to heat the warm water. Um, but we have not enough sun in Germany. Uh -huh. In other countries that's different. We have not enough sun to heat in winter, but we can store the heat of the summer uh -huh. by a tank, by um, a storage system, uh, and to use this heat in the winter. Uh -huh. And does that already work? It's working, yes. We have already realized a uh, um, prototype uh, right. which is working it's, that way. It sounds very expensive, to be honest, to have a huge tank of water. Um, will we be able to afford that? It's a prototype. Every prototype is expensive. Okay. But uh, then it's the question of industrial production and numbers. That's the same thing with uh, computers or with cars. And I can mm. tell a lot of changes are coming ahead. Thanks a lot for the mm. talk, Professor Stefan.